Hello Scorpio, welcome to your April reading 2023. I want to say thank you for all the likes, shares and subscribes that I've received for my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do so because it just means that you won't miss any future videos that I release. Now, I was only going to lay three cards, but they've all come out, so we will lay them all. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. She also does monthly readings for each star sign, so when you've watched your reading with me, have a look at Anything Spiritual as well. Just go in the description box below and click the link. Okay, Scorpio, so let's see what's in store for you for April 23. This card is um, the past. I was going to do past, present and future. Um, and obviously we have got a couple of extra cards here. So in your past here with the Knave of Wands, this says that you've been through a period of time in the last few weeks where you've really, really started thinking about the future. And you've been making some really positive plans. Look at the lovely colours you've got here. The oranges, the yellows. It's a really warm colour, a really positive card. And this tells me that, you know, you've been looking at what's going to make you happy and you've been planning your future and you've been taking action. So there's something that you've been put into motion, something that you've started that you really want to work more on. You really want to bring this into fruition for your future. And when we look at you at the moment, you've got temperance. Well, this is about balance. So it, you know, it's balancing your mind, your body, but I also feel your life. It's like that work and home life balance. You need to, with the changes that are going on, with you bringing in these changes for your future, it's like a readjustment is the feeling that I'm getting here. So it's this balancing of making these changes, making sure that you are accept accepting them, accepting them in your head that you're recognising and accepting the changes, even though you're bringing them in. The, when we make life adjustments, it's just getting used to these changes. And it's also, you know, this new way of life, these different little changes that you're doing daily. And I feel as well, following your intuition, when we look at this lady's third eye here, so you're still making decisions and you're still having to decide on things and it's trusting your gut, Scorpio. Trust in your intuition that you're making the right decisions, that you're making the right choices. And I'm drawn very much to the devil there because I feel it's like... You're in your comfort zone if you don't change anything. If you just plod along in life how you have been doing, then you're in your comfort zone. Stay chained up, so to speak. Stay in that old routine, that old habit. It's comfortable. And even though you want to make the changes for your future because you want a better future, it's like resisting the changes, but you want to make more money. I definitely feel this is about your finances. This is about making yourself more secure, more financially stable, to live a more comfortable financial life. And it's breaking away from the old habits to make new habits, to bring in more money. And it's, there's a little bit of fear there, Scorpio, but don't be scared. Don't be scared. And for your future look, you've got the King of Wands. And that's a really good card. Look at all this fire around this king. And I feel that you 
really will become much more enthusiastic. You, you've got the passion, you've got the desire and you will take more control of things and you will be pushing things forward. I want to lay another card over that. The magician, look at that. You will be pushing things forward. You will become more enthusiastic and the magic will happen. You can bring more money into your life. If this is an, a new business idea that you've got, Scorpio, then this is telling you that you've got the passion and the drive and the desire to see it through. You know, don't think that you're not worthy. Don't think that you can do it. You can do it. You, you've got all the skills. You've got all the drive. You've got all the enthusiasm, all the know-how. Scorpio, you have got everything you need to see this through. Don't let fear stop you because you've got a wonderful future there. So April is going to see you really pushing forward with your plans and time to heal look at that and it's a snake and then you know what snakes do they shed their old skin and become a new fresh skin and this is exactly the feeling that i'm getting here like we said with shedding the old habits it's getting rid of the old, shedding those old habits, that old skin, that old you to move forward, to make the new you a reality, to make this new desire happen. And you can do it in April, Scorpio. You can really start the wheels turning and you can really start to bring this into your life. So what a wonderful April for you. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you have, then don't forget to click that like, share, subscribe button. Check out the description box below and follow the link to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. Thank you for watching. Mm.